my channel for another video how is everyone doing today so today's video is going to be a very special video as of today which will be which is technically tomorrow but today february 1st is the beginning of february you guys know february is a very important special month to me it's not only black history month but it's also the birth month of me and as well as my mother and another close close friend and so i really want to do something really special for this month I, I i wanted to spend this entire month especially the earlier part of the month lead the days leading up to valentine's day talking about self-love i know i always say it i always say loving yourself fully i always talk about it if you follow me on instagram on my um instagram post but i want to sit down and really talk to you guys about the importance and the significance of loving yourself what does truly mean and how do you love yourself um, so today's video is going to be all about why it's important to love yourself as well as how to love yourself. Behind it, then stay tuned, grab yourself some tea or some hot chocolate because I believe today is hot chocolate. Actually, today is National Hot Chocolate Day, which is mm, sounds delicious. Grab you some snack or some wine because I'm about to get into it. Something that really inspired this video is something that I have been watching for a while and that is the show called This Is Us. This Is Us is a um, prime time drama family unit show that comes on NBC. I love This Is Us. It is a beautiful show. The family dynamic just reminds me of my family when I was younger. Jack is my father. My father is Jack. Someone was watching us when my father was alive and literally made that character based off my father my father was like that he was a handyman he was a family man he was real good with the he was real good with us with the kids my mom worked a regular nine to five my dad was a veteran he was a self-employed electrician and engineer so he had a lot of so during his downtime he had a lot of time with us the kids so he would take us to museums parks art galleries take us around the city and do different things libraries all that type of stuff to plays and shows and everything and he was just real about family union making us making sure that we was a unit together so watching the show is very not only nostalgic but it's also very beautiful and um tearful if you watch the show if you really want to show yourself um one of the things i like about the show is the relationship between kate and jack kate is the daughter of their kids they have three kids two of them are twins formerly part of a triplet and another one randall who they adopted after the third kid passed was born or stillborn um the relationship between Kate and her father is beautiful. It's beautiful, it's unconditional, but at the same time, it's imperfect. The reason why this relationship sticks out to me so, so significant than the other relationships on the show is because Kate is an oversized kid. Um, from She's big most half her life when they realized her, um, the mother and the father realized Kate was no longer losing her baby weight. And she was actually big, not just baby fat. Um, the mother wanted to take more of a formal approach, loving but firming, not so much that she was shaming her, but so much that, you know, she was like, no, you can't eat that, no more junk food, you had enough seats, where well, her father just wanted to see her happy, and he would take her to the ice cream shop, even though she didn't really need no ice cream, but he just wanted to see her happy, he was always telling her she was beautiful, she was loved, you just don't, you know, it's, you're beautiful just the way you are, and when Kate got older, um, she was about to get ready to go to college. They always get ready to go to college. Ooh. Yeah, they always get ready to go to college. So, and applied for a performing arts school to be a singer. Kate could sing, just like her mother. That's another relationship dynamic that they have going on. Um, and she got uh, a letter back saying that she was in the final round of applicants and they wanted to get an uh, additional tape. Her father immediately wanted to record her. She did not want to record herself. Again, this is a girl who grew up being plus size, being big, and was talked about and ridiculed. So she had significant self-esteem issues, not from the lack of her parents, but from the lack of her seeing it with herself. And the outside world kids can be very cruel, cool, as some of you or all of you may know. So her father immediately wanted to record her. She didn't want to record herself. She didn't want to be her camera. 
But of course her father, being the father that he is, so like my father was, he went and not spy on her, but was recording her while she was performing. She found, she saw him because he really wasn't hiding. He was like literally standing in her doorway with the camera. And you know, they had a little argument, a little spout. And she kept saying, if you just see how beautiful you are, just watch the tape. And she was like, stop saying that. You, when I was a kid, when I was little, you said that was fine, it's cool. But now that no one else seems to see it and I don't see it to myself, it's kind of cool for you to keep telling me I'm beautiful when I don't see it and no one else seems to see it. So that kind of hurt, you know, Jack's feeling. He felt kind of bruised. He's like, okay, all right, I'll leave him alone. But like a good father, he's still back. You know what I'm saying? A lot, of, a lot was happening in this episode with Jack. So he was getting hit and hit by each of his kids. So he just, he just, he just stood back and just let her be her. Initially, Kate goes to watch the video and she sees not only herself, but she sees the way her father looks at her and how happy and proud he is and he she sees the love and joy on his face as he watches her do something that she really really loves and really and really enjoys um so she comes back to him gives him back the tape and she tells him don't stop don't stop being you don't stop telling me i'm beautiful and how much you love me now i want to begin with that significantly because every girl doesn't have i'm sorry every young girl doesn't have that father Tell them that they're beautiful and that they love. I did, even though it was only for a short period of time. I did. And some girls growing up never hearing that you're beautiful, that you're pretty, that you're smart. And come along a guy that means them no good at all. Tell them that they're pretty, that they're beautiful. And you all know what happens after that. They Because no one ever told them, they don't believe it themselves. So they're growing up, they, they grow up thinking that they're undesirable, unworthy. And therefore, it causes the problem of low self-esteem and a lack of self-love. And when you don't love yourself, you're telling the world that you yourself don't believe yourself to be worthy. That you yourself believe yourself to be undesirable. That you yourself don't care about yourself. And, and that opens the door to negative energy um, that opens the door to leading to very unhealthy and toxic relationships because you don't know how to love yourself so you don't know how to tell someone else to love you. You don't know what actual love should be like for yourself so you're accepting anything thinking that's what love is and it's not that. You're thinking, oh, this is how he communicates or she communicates. She loves me by doing this and this and that, which is very harmful and toxic because you don't understand what love is. You can't tell nobody how to love you if you don't know how to love yourself. If someone means you no good and they don't know how to love and they have a very toxic background and they're just not really a good person, then they don't know how to love you. So then you got these two people to come together who don't know what love is and yeah. Love is something that's learned, that's taught, that's grown. It, you just don't wake up and know what it is. I mean, unless you're a baby. Baby just automatically loves his mother because it's a baby. That's where it came from. You know, like, they significantly realize that they're a mother. Anywho, but I digress. The, the reason why it is really important, as I stated before, why it is important to love yourself is because that's the first agreement you make with yourself that's the first promise you promise to yourself that I love myself I am going to take care of myself I am going to be happy I am going to experience life I am going to do things in life that makes me happy that's the first promise that you make to yourself as I stated before when you don't love yourself you just open the, the door up to things to happen to you and the wrong people to come in and influence you and you lead down in the wrong path or so forth or so forth by making a commitment to love yourself, you are telling the world and others around you that you matter, that you are deserving, that you are worthy, that you are a person and that you know that you matter. Um, so it's very important to make that commitment as early as possible. I know some people could probably go their whole lives without truly knowing and loving themselves, but it's never ever too late. I'm not gonna say never, it's never too late. There is a too late, but if you're here sound body mind now, it's not too late to make the commitment to love yourself but I also want to make it conscious do not look to others for examples of love it's different when you're say um, in a relationship and you look to an older relationship or friends or a family member who have an older relationship they say marriage and they've been married for a long time and you look to them and you ask them for advice 
as well as how do they deal with certain situations in a relationship. That's one thing. But don't look to others for examples of how they love themselves. Because how I love myself and how I, you know, love Nadia, it may be different from how you love and express your love for yourself. Um, say, like, for instance, how these uh, plus-size models and celebrities and bloggers who I love, I'm not coming at anyone, how they post images of themselves in bras in their lingerie or swimsuits in a very sexy, very alluring, very provocative. That's beautiful. They're showing their body. They're showing that they are proud of their body, not a shame of, and they're going to flaunt their curves. And I commend them that. That is beautiful. I actually follow several of the young ladies that do this, and I like, and I comment, and I rejoice with it. However, if you someone younger, a young girl who's still learning and growing and exploring her body and not yet comfortable. A younger girl who doesn't know yet that it takes more than just posting a um, sexy or a semi-naked or naked video. It takes more than that to, to love yourself. She can see that and thinking, that's what I need to do in order to love myself. I need to be able to take a picture of myself naked or take a picture of myself in a very sexy bikini or lingerie and that shows the world that I love myself because I was able to take that picture. It takes more than that. That is not self-love. That is not body positive. It took the journey for them growing and struggling and learning and all that other stuff to get comfortable enough to stand in front of a camera to take that picture versus you doing it and thinking that's what I get to gain that self-confidence, to gain that body positive, to gain the love for myself. So, I want to talk about how to love yourself. I spoke about why it's significant to love yourself and in the process of allowing yourself to love yourself and making the commitment to do so. Now, I want to talk about how to love yourself. These are some of the steps to grow, to learn the person who you are. Learn to love the person who you are. Learn to date yourself. Because that's, that's basically what dating is. Dating is learning to learn the person growing to learn the person that you significantly see yourself being with love yourself is the most important relationship you will have in your entire life i promise you it's not with your mom it's not with your kids it's not with your significant other and i may be taboo if i'm telling a person who has kids that your the relationship with your kids is more is not as important a relationship with yourself but i promise you if you don't take care of yourself if you don't love yourself your kids see that and that affects them. If you don't love and take care of yourself, your kids can see that. Okay? They see that. That engraves them. They grow up with that. That affects them. How it affects them is different with every child and every situation, every circumstance. But it does. So that's why I say it is more important. The most important relationship you will ever have is the relationship you will have with yourself. By the time this video go up, this will be Thursday, February 1st. I will be doing a live stream at 3 p.m. Friday. I'm going thrifting at either the Salvation Army in Chicago Heights or the Savers in Orland. I can't decide. What, I don't know which one I'm going. So very excited. This is going to be my second live stream. And I'm going to show you guys how I thrift, how I, what I look for, how I put it together what is my thought process as far as if this is going to be a future DIY or is it something I can just take and wear immediately so you guys stay tuned for that I will be giving you guys a lot of content this month fingers crossed as well as here on YouTube as well as Instagram I will be posting almost every day on Instagram which will be a first for me but I do look forward because I do want to push the message of self-love as well as I want to you know just do it for my people one time with African American History Month. So you guys stay tuned for that. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sitting with me. Having some tea or having some wine. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys again Friday. Hope you guys are able, some of you guys are able to tune in. If not, you can always watch the playback, of course. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I love you. You are beautiful. But most importantly, love yourself fully. Until next time. Mm. I'm trying to so good.